So today's podcast deals with the skills and functions associated with the lobes of the brain. There is the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the cerebellum. Associated with the frontal lobe are various controls. It controls certain of our behaviors and certain of the things we do. And when it's injured, that has certain consequences. The changes that are seen when there is an injury to the frontal lobe include problems with sequencing, perseveration, where there's difficulty making decisions. People experience decreased attention, changed personality, problem solving difficulties, a decrease in their ability to verbally express themselves, a lack of spontaneity, uncontrolled emotions, uh, social and sexual behaviors, decreased initiation of voluntary movements. The changes that we see when the temporal lobe is injured is that people have problem understanding the spoken word. There are problems with selective attention, sexuality changes. A person with a temporal lobe injury may be found to persistently talk. And often with a temporal lobe injury we see an increase in aggressive behavior. There are problems identifying objects and categorizing them. And there are problems recognizing faces and finding objects. So now let's talk a little bit about the parietal lobe. The parietal lobe is an area of the brain that takes us uh, into sort of a higher level of functioning. And as we look at the parietal lobe and those changes, we see in patients with uh, traumatic brain injury, difficulty naming objects problems processing their tactile sensations, so problems processing and understanding what their fingers are telling them they're touching. You see people's academic skill sets fall and things that they were easily able to do in the workplace or in the academic setting uh, from a cognitive standpoint are now diminished or gone. There's confusion between the left and the right you have a loss of hand-eye coordination and a decreased orientation of where our bodies are in space. Often when I see a client who has damage in the occipital lobe, I see issues of vision defects. There's loss of the visual field. There are problems visually locating objects and importantly there are problems identifying colors. People can have distorted vision, hallucinations, they can have something called word blindness. There's the inability to perceive the way that objects move and obviously there are problems with reading and writing and there's an overall slowed processing of the way that our brains process visual information. So when we look at the cerebellum, and that's the area here at, really at the, at the back and the base of the, of the brain and at the top of the spinal column, as we look at the cerebellum and we look at the types of things that our cerebellum does for us each and every day, we see things like the following. We see the control of gross and fine motor coordination. We see all of our voluntary motor coordination. So when we decide we want to reach out and grab a jar off the shelf, we put our arm out and we do that and that's our cerebellum in action. We have our balance and our equilibrium. The ability to stand up and not fall over. The ability to be able to ride a skateboard, to be able to ride a bicycle to go for a jog down the block. Our postural control and our eye movements, moving our eyes back and forth, up and down, and utilizing our, our eyes to obtain uh, visual information so that it can be processed by our brain. So 
So our brainstem controls so much of what happens in our body. It controls so many of the different functions that allow us to survive as, as human beings. It is an area of the brain that really we take for granted and we should be able to take for granted. But when it becomes injured through an accident or whatever, the brainstem and the injuries that flow from that can have horrible consequences for us. Let's take a look at what some of those might be. When a person has an injury to their brainstem, we see the damage regulation of our ability to hold our body temperature, to keep it at a healthy temperature as opposed to getting too hot or too cold. We can lose the ability with injury to the brainstem, efficient, effective management of our heart rate or the rate at which we breathe. People with injuries to their brainstem also experience problems with balance and with their movement. They have problems with swallowing food and liquid, something we, each of us should be able to take for granted. Brainstem injuries classically can be associated with symptoms of vertigo where the world spins and often it's uncontrollable and unfixable. There's dizziness and there's nausea. So we've now had an opportunity to talk about the different lobes of the brain. What the different lobes of the brain control in terms of each of our lives, in terms of all the different aspects of our physical life, of our emotional life, of the way we think, the way we process information, down to issues when we're talking about the brainstem, for example, of just how we swallow food, how our body regulates our temperature. When any of the lobes of our brain is damaged or injured, either by an accident, by a driver, by a drug, by a doctor, it is a horrible consequence. It affects our lives in myriad ways.